Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the flow rate using a flow net and this formula Q equals KH N subscript F on top of N subscript H, which I'm gonna which I'm gonna be explaining in a second. Okay. Just two notes before we start. It's very important that we draw our flow net to scale. Okay, because a flow net is a graphical solution, it's very important that we have a scale to our solution. Okay. Um, so the first thing as always, we're gonna come and draw our flow net for this situation. So we first need to work out we should first maybe define a datum, right? So let's put our datum down here. So our datum goes up from the base of this surface here. Okay, so there's our datum. So I mean, just it makes sense that our flow is going to come from this point of higher elevation to lower elevation, right? That's going to be the path of flow. So, and we've got an impermeable base from the bottom here. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is establish our boundary conditions. So the first, the first boundary condition we know is that at a water-soil interface, we have an equipotential line. So I'm going to draw that in blue, and we're going to have the same thing over here. So an equipotential line there. We also know that in, at a soil impermeable boundary, we have a flow line. Right, so this flow will come down here. It's going to hug this wall and come up. Okay, so this is a wall separating two different heights of water. Okay, we also know that because this base is impermeable, this impermeable rock, we're going to have a flow line coming across here, which will come down there, across, and back up. Right, so this is a flow line. Now, just a note 